What's up? I'm Jen. I'm short. And if you thought the girl on the NX was big, well then just wait till you see the RX. Today I have the 2016 Lexus RX 350 F Sport. Careful, these lines are sharp. Ow! is considered a mid-sized luxury SUV, but next to me, it's pretty massive. But does that mean I'll have an issue driving it? I don't know. Let's see. The RX is easy to get into. My feet reach the floor comfortably. My foot, I can actually use the footrest and reach the pedals just fine. And I can see over the steering wheel. But this car does have blind spots for me. But it's okay because it has blind spot monitors, which will help me. So when I close the door, you can see this line here, I think it's referred to as the belt line, is very high. And this is as high up as the seat goes. So it's not like I can be pushed up any higher than I am. Because of the high belt line that goes all the way to the back of the vehicle, it makes it a little bit difficult for me to be able to look over and, well, see. And those little tiny windows back there aren't really helpful. They look cool, but I can't see much. And for backing up, well, we have a backup camera. Doesn't it look great on that 12.3 inch screen? And the armrest here and this padding is in a nice spot. The seat's not getting in my way, so I can actually use it. And it's got a mouse instead of like a touchpad, which is easy to use and in a nice spot for me. It's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Ergonomic. This is very ergonomic. Some people have issues with the analog clock that's in the Lexus vehicles now. But this one actually offers you, wait for it. <gasps> There's a digital clock now. There's a digital clock in the instrument cluster area. So if you have issues, issues with the analog, well now you can rejoice in the fact that there is a digital clock. Let's go check out the back seat. Holy recline, Batman. Whoa, that's amazing. Seriously, if this thing reclined any further back, I'd practically be laying down. There we go, kind of. It's a little more normal, still comfortable. This is nice. I don't even need to lay down to nap back here. I can just be like this. Look at all this room. It's beautiful. Let's open up the back. Of course, it has a power lift gate. Somewhere. Well, that's really high up. <laughs> okay, so I can barely reach it. I can even barely reach the little button to like close it. Actually, I really can't reach it, but that's okay. Cause you can actually adjust the height of the tailgate. I just, I just have to be able to reach it first. So let's see. I'm gonna do that. And then I need it to stop right about here. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna press it. That should work. But we're gonna test it out just to see anyway. I'm going to open it with the key fob instead. All right, see where it stops. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So it's great that I can actually adjust the height of the tailgate, but I don't think I can do that with the hood. So hopefully it doesn't open up too high and I can actually reach it. Oh, it's hot. That's it? Really? Wow, that's actually it. That's awesome. I didn't expect that. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 Lexus RX 350 F Sport. I can dig it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this one in the future, click that subscribe button. I make videos with all different kinds of vehicles to show you what I experience from a short girl's perspective. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments down below. 
Thanks so much for watching. And now it is time to roll out. It's hot outside, but that's okay. So we have, there we go, butt coolers. I believe they're called ventilated seats. That's all right. I call them butt coolers because that's exactly what they do. They cool your ass, which is great.